Using 5G internet, you'll normally get a download speed of about 300 to 500 megabits per second. But what isn't so clear is the upload speeds you'll get. So today, we've explained what sort of upload speeds you can expect using 5G broadband. And we've also outlined some ways to improve your upload speeds and help you get the most out of your 5G broadband connection. But before we begin, thanks to 3 for sponsoring this video. Their 5G help deals offer the best way to get 5G broadband in the UK at the moment from our testing with really fast download speeds and low monthly costs as well. So make sure to click the link in the description to the 3 broadband coverage checker and put in your postcode here to see if you can get the 5G hub where you live at the moment. For most families, your download speed is a lot more important than your upload speed. Because for most of us, most of the things we do online are downloading data from the internet rather than uploading files. For example, if your video is streaming, scrolling social media, or downloading a game update on your Xbox, this is all downloading data from the internet. For most people, most of the uploads you'll be doing are uploading pictures or video to social media, or uploading files to iCloud or Google Drive, and that sort of thing. But for some people, having fast uploads is more important. This is more likely to be the case if you're often dealing with large files and often need to upload them to the internet. For example, with us, every time we upload a YouTube video, the file ends up being about 500 to 1000 megabytes. So having a sort of decent upload speed is quite useful. In other cases, if you're learning from home, like taking a course or something, you might often be uploading assignments and that sort of thing. Or if you work from home, especially in something like graphic design, you might also be doing quite a lot of uploading. While many fiber broadband deals come with symmetrical download and upload speeds, for example, these ones from Community Fiber, where you get gigabit downloads and uploads on their most popular plan, with 5G, no matter how good the network is in your area, it's normal for the uploads to be a lot slower than your download speeds. So exactly what upload speeds can you expect with 5G broadband, and will this be enough for your household? Most 5G internet users are using the router on its own with its internal antennas. This is the case with the 3 5G hub for example. And in this case, from our experience, testing 3 5G broadband, we normally get an upload speed of just under 20 megabits per second. This isn't blazing fast, but it is plenty for most households. Even if you have 3 or 4 people online at the same time, as long as you're not doing huge uploads on a regular basis. On our website, we have this broadband speed needs calculator, which we've linked to in the description if you want to check it out. So let's say we have four people online for more than two hours a day on average, doing lots of different internet activities, including TV streaming and gaming, but not doing lots of bulk data uploads like Twitch streaming, but people still are often online at the same time. In this case, when we hit calculate, we can see at a minimum, you can get away with a 12 megabit upload speed. So in this case, the 3 5G hub would work for this household. But there is a fairly easy method, which we found doubled our upload speeds using 5G internet. This 5G hub is 3's main 5G router, which they sell on their website, bundled with an unlimited data sim and everything else you need to get started. But on their coverage map, at certain postcodes, they might point you towards their 5G outdoor hub. This is very similar to the regular 5G hub, except rather than just coming with an unlimited data sim and a router, you also get this 5G antenna as well. You install it on the outside of your house. There's a few different mounting mechanisms, including a pole mount and a wall mount, but we use the included sticky pads to put it on the outside of a window, and then you feed its cable back inside through a window if you want to. You can shut the window completely without letting any air in, and then connect the antenna to your router. What this is doing is, rather than using the internal antennas inside the router, like what happens with the ZTE MC888, the regular 5G hub, you're using an external antenna mounted outdoors to pick up much better 5G signal. So compared to this speed test with the regular 5G hub, our upload speeds more than doubled using the 5G outdoor hub. And we also saw a pretty huge lift in our download speeds as well. So using an external antenna, you'll often see quite a big increase in your upload speeds using 5G broadband. 
Remember, click the link in the description to the three home broadband coverage checker and put in your postcode here to see if they suggest the 5G hub or outdoor 5G hub at your address when you're watching this. And if you just want to buy an antenna on its own, click the link in the description to the Waveform Quad Mini on Amazon, which works in a very similar way to the antenna component of the 5G outdoor hub. It's very easy to install and allowed us to get above a 40 megabit upload speed, but is a decent bit more expensive compared to buying an outdoor 5G hub on a plan from 3. Apart from using an antenna, there are some other ways to get better upload speeds using 5G broadband and better download speeds as well. The first is, if you're using a router on its own, or even a MiFi device, without an external antenna installed, take a day or two to optimize exactly where the router is positioned, because this can have a big impact on the speeds you get. At a basic level, you want to have the router on the side of the house, closest to the nearest 5G mast, to minimize interference. You can use this website called cellmapper.net to figure out where the nearest masts are, given the network you're on, to help you position the router. Once you've found the right side of the house, the best place indoors is normally an upstairs windowsill, somewhere sort of elevated and on the edge of the house, to put the 5G router. But you need to experiment a bit. Try different windowsills and different positioning on the windowsill, restarting the router each time and performing a speed test to see where you get the fastest download and upload speeds. Even doing things like rotating the router at different angles can have an impact on what speeds you get. The next thing to think about is eliminating any interference. Mostly, this is going to be things that block 5G. For example, don't put the router next to something full of water, like a vase or a fish tank or something like that, because this can absolutely destroy your signal. It's also worth looking at anything else that could interfere by emitting radio waves, like baby monitors, microwave ovens, and that sort of thing. And finally, to get the best upload speeds, you might consider switching networks. The best network to join, from an upload speed point of view, depends on exactly where you live. So we've linked to the coverage maps of all of the big four networks in the description, so you can check and verify that they have outdoor and indoor coverage on 5G at your address. But on average, some networks do perform better than others. This is a report from Ookla looking at real world speeds from each of the four mobile networks from people using the speed test app in the UK. They found that the fastest network on average was 3, followed by Vodafone, then EE and O2. And it's a similar story in terms of upload speeds, with the networks in the same order, except EE's upload speeds are a bit faster than Vodafone's, but it is very close between them. They also looked at performance in the major cities, and 3 still came out ahead. So because they have the fastest upload speeds and download speeds on average, Make sure to click the link in the description to the 3 5G broadband coverage checker and put in your postcode to see if you can get the 3 5G hub or 5G outdoor hub at your address when you're watching this. So while 5G broadband upload speeds aren't blazing fast, this isn't a deal breaker for most people. The speeds on offer are still good, plenty for most households, and using an antenna, you can get pretty decent upload speeds on 3 5G at least. If you're looking for a new 5G broadband plan, make sure to check out the 3 coverage checker, which we've linked to in the description. And if you have any questions about 5G broadband upload speeds, or about 5G internet in general, let us know in the comments below, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.